What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM20 series where we look at some of the young talent on Football Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers, the players that I, mainly players that you guys, well all players that you guys pick in the comments section. Now I will say this, going further, going further, don't forget to check out the other season's the channel, Monaco, and also I think Man United Cream World starts today with an introduction episode, I think, uh, if I can, if we, if I get, if I get it done before the, my meeting in the morning um and also check out the monocle series as well and discord link down below and twitch twi twitch channel live on friday saturdays and tuesdays work and uh, football permitting also guys this is the first of the f of three more episodes than we are done so no more requests are being made uh, i did touch on that in a video of the day it's still on, still on the channel so you can go check out why i put a deadline on it and i explain it in there rather than on this one so also, we have got plans to bring a spreadsheet out for next year's game, which will be able for you to track your own players that you have requested, so you know when they're going to go live and if it's been recorded yet or anything. Because sometimes people say, "Do it been recorded yet?" You can keep checking the spreadsheet updates every five minutes, so it lets you know, uh, "Okay, my players there." So I've got all these guys in front. That way, it's easier when you're going for the comments section looking at yourself. So I'll explain it more in the final episode what's going to happen next year. So today's players: Louis Barry, English striker. At Aston Villa, contract information indicates that obviously he signed it this year, so no point trying to negotiate a fee with him on this in this in this play in this playthrough. Um, in the simulation, sorry, current ability eighty, um, potential ability minus seventy five, potential ability range one twenty to one fifty, um, very one footed, twenty right foot, left eight on his left, advanced forward striker, um, current ability we can see is two and a half one and a half star, sorry, and potential is three star, maybe four. Um, obviously, the, the pros are the pace, determined, can improve a lot, can play in a couple of positions, can play as a left winger, and obviously, technical player, and obviously, the rest is all, all of its, you know, squad, squad eligibility and registration. It's very selfish, though, um, and lack of work, like a team ethic as well. So, but that's the same thing, really. Chance first time shot, which is interesting. I've had, I, had a, I managed um, Raul Jimenez. This season, uh, this year, and he does that as well. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a really good thing this year or not. Not manage many strikers to do that. So yeah, English striker, good potential, lacking the pace, the finishing, the, 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 the technique, and the, the flair, the work rate could be improved. He's 16 years old, so lots of scope for improvement here. So first jump, let's go. All right, folks, he's still at Aston Villa, and you can see straight away we've increased, obviously, in the physicality. We kind of guessed that would happen um, with the, you know, attributes we already saw. 15 pace, after finish 16, mid duty 17, 15 finishing, um, and composure 12, flare 16, technique 15. Yeah, dribbling 14, could be a, a, right, uh, a winger, definitely. Um, with the dribbling and pace and finishing that he has, um, I'd say definitely left hand side because he's right footed. Um, his weak foot on his right foot is weak, very strong on his right. Just to get that clarification for you, because it's, it's, it's giving you a number. So let's look at his injury record here, and he's relatively injury free. Um, again, it's a subjective opinion um, on that. So. Okay. Interesting. Um, not sure how this has worked out, but okay. Um, Aston Villa didn't really play him early on this year. They did play him more in the championship. He got seven goals in the championship. Um, yeah, I mean, this kid looks great. I mean, obviously, I think 19 years old is still got for improvement here. Uh, I think this is there's nothing to say this guy can't be good. Game signed. Obviously, English player. The premium may be there for it. He's quick as well. That adds money to his possible fee as well. So, I want to see if he gets first in football somewhere. Ideally in the Premier League and see how he gets on. All right, folks. He's now at Watford um, in the Premier League. And we've got some new traits on him um, in his development. Uh, runs ball on the right hand side. Knocks ball past opponents are the two new traits on him. And they play mainly as a striker, as a striker at the moment. Um, again, solid player. He really, really is. I think he just needs to be given a bit of belief um, in management. Injury record. So a look. Uh, slightly bit more concerning up here this area. But again, that's down. I think that's always down to personal preference for you guys, really. So Aston Villa, how did he get on in the championship then? He got seven goals championship. 
Back in Premier League, you've got seven goals in the Premier League. Back down in Championship, you've got 16 goals and three assists. Still in Championship, 10 goals, two assists. Went to Ibar at one point later on, on loan. But first of all, they signed him for Watford, 70.5 million pound. Didn't play him. Loaned him out to Ibar in the in the league and got 13 goals, two assists. And then this year, obviously, we're still waiting to see. So I think it's a matter of, uh, this is the first one for have done with him. Um, I think simply, you need to play him. Um, I still think, you look at the, the, the player here, he developed quite well based on the, rate, the potential rating that he's got. I think just play the guy. Uh, I think there's a common problem again that FM doesn't play the young players enough. At least not for us anyway in, in our simulations. But just get the guy played. I think he'll score, he's got goals in Ibar in, in the league, 13 goals. So, you know what I mean? You, 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 you think about it and play him more early on. No reason why he can't do it in uh, the Premier League and the other leagues. And we know he can do it in Championship. It's been proven already. So, 24 years old, £18.75 million. Pound. Yeah. The fee they paid for him, around 70.5. It's not insane for a fee. I don't think it's like, what the hell? That's a stupid fee. Um, so, yeah. Let's continue, guys, and see if he can establish himself at Watford. All right, folks. He's now at Dynamo Kiev, been moved around a lot. And the relatively staying the same on the stats and physicality and mental stats, all those, all that stuff. Uh, injury record, I'm going to look here. A seven-month injury right there for a blow, broken lower leg. Ouch. Um, I know I've broken a bone in my body, I don't, don't want to either. Um, hopefully I never will. Um, so, loan, went on loan to Ibar, then they decided to sell him to Leipzig for uh, £9.25 million. Pounds. Um, six goals and one in his first season at Leipzig. This is in Bundesliga. Then second season, 11 goals and four. Then, obviously, I think the 29-30 season was the was the way he got the injury, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's when he got the serious injury, broken leg. Then they discarded him for free, trans free transfer, goes to uh, the Ukrainian league and knocks in 12 goals and three assists. So, yeah, for nine point two million pound, I think that, I think that they kept him if I'm broken his leg. And the one year he didn't break, the year before he broke his leg, he got eleven goals in the, in Bundesliga. So he's proven my point here that he scores goals when you play him. Just I think you play him earlier, you get more out of him. And obviously I do do redos, but he's got a lot of football here, and there's been good enough development to make it show. But I think obviously if you add on more game time earlier on in in a, in a top league, and also adding your personal touch to a developing a player. This guy could be fantastic and could be, and he's not all the expensive either based on the fees so far. So let's see if we can recover from that broken leg and keep his goal turn in double figures. And he's now 32 years old and he's gone. I don't have a clue where this team is. Oh, Ukraine. Okay. I never heard of him. Um, same stats, relatively consistent. No change massively overall in him. Please, thank you. Only difference is now he's got. Run the goal. He has likes to run the goalkeeper as a new start. Um, I think this guy could be left winger. Sorry, yeah, left winger. Sorry, yeah. I don't know why I is it on that one. Like him, not very expensive. Got the pace, finishing good. When he plays, he scores goals. So look how he's got on <coughs> injury wise since the big injury. Not too bad after the big injury for seven months. Career stats. So first year, twelve goals and three. Then five and eight, nine and four. 15 and 9, 4 and 4, and then obviously they sold him for letting go for a free transfer. Plus, size this guy. Um, not overly expensive. Um, Max and pay was £17 million. And if you're getting him earlier on, before he, he's been kind of up and down the leagues a bit with um, Aston Villa, he could be a lot better. I don't know if he can get much better than this um, based on the um, ability range of 120 to 150. But I think you can get a bit more out of him with more football later on. So maybe you get him like 16, 17, 17 or 18, loan him out and then bring him back in and, you know, to, you know you know what I mean? Um, I think he's a really good player. I think he also helps the English quota in Premier League. The pace is good. The finish is good. Can be, obviously, as we saw, can be retrained as a left winger. Yeah, really enjoyed, really enjoyed this guy. I think he'd be fantastic to um, sign for your teams. Let me know, guys, if you've signed him yourself. Don't forget, guys, drop a like on the video down below if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new. I'll see you tomorrow morning for another upload from this series. Um, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. But, but until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.